All right. Jordan asks, hello, do you recommend reading and watching beginner content or should I just watch native level content? I'm trying to achieve the Cuban accent in Spanish, but it's just too fast to understand. Do I just keep listening uh, and one day I'll get it? Yeah, I mean, it depends on what your current level is, right? But um, if your goal is to develop a specific accent, you should do a lot of listening uh, with content from that with that specific accent and uh, just learn the language in general, you know, like memorize vocabulary and a lot of listening. And what... One thing you could do is listen to the same thing on repeat. Like read the transcript. Uh, use a shorter video. Read the transcript. Uh, and then read while listening a few times. Like listen to the whole thing while reading uh, so that you get used to the sounds, the way they pronounce things. And uh, then you move on to listen to, to uh, something on a longer format, like a podcast or radio or something like that. And every day you do your five or ten minutes of reading, reading while listening, and then you just do a more extensive listening. And eventually, if you, again, if you know enough vocabulary, if you don't know the vocabulary, the accent really doesn't matter because you will not understand. But um, yeah, Cuban accents, Cuban accents quite tricky. But um, once you learn the patterns in which it changes from, let's call it standard Spanish to Cuban accent. Okay, they pronounce the L's this way, the, the R's this way, and the vowels like that. And You'll notice those things by doing listening while reading with the same content. So pick like a shorter uh, piece of audio or a, or a video or something, five minutes or less, and watch or listen over and over again while reading the subtitles, or not the subtitles, the, the transcript, so you know exactly what they're saying. And eventually, that doing that exercise regularly alongside the, the extensive listening will help you uh, understand the accent well, if you, if you have the vocab. Uh, do not... Yeah, all this stuff about uh, kids' books and this and that... Yeah, or the beginner content, don't do any of that because, um, yeah, the beginner content, if your Spanish is zero, then focus on learning basics. Yeah, get an assimil book or something and learn the basics of Spanish, uh, learn the basic vocabulary and, and, and learn the basics. Yeah, but um, if you know the basics already, move as. The question is always, when should you move from learning materials, beginner content, to uh, authentic materials? And the answer that I always give people is, as soon as you can. So as soon as you know in a vocab, just jump to uh, native level content, find content that's interesting to you, and listen to it over and over again. Listen to podcasts, listen to radio, keep learning vocab. Um, all this stuff in the comments, like the uh, beginner level, everything seems out of reach. Yeah, material for children. Uh, no, because you know what? If if you're an adult, you don't want to be treated like a child. You know, um, if you're interested in whatever you're interested in. I'm sure you can find content about that specific topic in the language. Listen to that. Memorize the vocab and listen to it again. And even if it's difficult now, in a week or two, you'll understand a lot more if you memorize the vocab and, and you keep listening to it. And uh, if the problem, again, if the problem is the specific accent, do like intensive... You, you could even shadow it as well. You could... Uh, you could either read while listening only, like you listen to it while reading uh, used to, of the, to get used to the accent, or you could read, listen to it, and repeat 
simultaneously while you uh, listen to it. And that way you learn to, you will get used to the accent simply by doing that. And then you do the extensive listening. And that's it. It's not that complicated. You just have to, you just have to get going and keep going no matter what. Don't get discouraged. Keep learning vocab and keep listening. If you learn enough vocabulary and you listen regularly, you will end up understanding. And the Cuban accent's different from most Spanish accents. Caribbean accents, yeah, are, it's very different from like mainland Spain or or Argentina or Colombia even. But it's not impossible. It's not necessarily more difficult. You just have to get used to it. So if you mostly listen to that stuff, you'll get used to that that accent. <laughs>